The concept of social distancing has brought new challenges into the lives of students. We need to figure out how to readjust our at-home lives and schedules to compensate for what we would normally be doing out in the world. One of these major challenges for me has been figuring out how to stay active. I'm used to walking a mile every day to and from school, as well as going to dance class six days a week. When all of that got taken away from me, I felt very upset. It took me about two days to realize that I have the power to ensure that I make up for the exercise that I lost in my own way. The first thing I tried to do was find a way to continue dancing in my house. I am a ballet dancer and one of my role models is Tyler Peck, a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet. I've been following her on Instagram for years and I noticed that she decided to open up her classes to the public through Instagram live stream. From then on, every day at 1 p.m. sharp, I joined her live video and did class in my room using a chair as a ballet bar. The largest challenge for me was finding ways to self-instruct because I'm so used to being told how to improve. I had to reach inside of me and find self-motivation in order to keep striving and get stronger. After a week of social distancing, my company, New Haven Ballet, started doing online classes through Zoom. This allowed a sense of normalcy to enter back into my life because all the set, uh, although the setting was different, I was able to gain exercise in the same way and with the same people that I did before the virus consumed our lives. My parents also encouraged me to get outside at least once a day. On weekdays, I walk around the block before I start my schoolwork to wake up and clear my head with fresh air. On weekends, I go on longer walks with my mom up to Hamden and bike rides around East Rock with my dad. This helps me stay in touch with the outside while still keeping distance from others. As well as staying physically active, it's equally important to stay mentally active. I've been using the extra time in quarantine to explore creative, creative side of myself that usually goes untouched. I've been working on my sewing abilities and redesigning three of my old shirts. I've also been playing around with collage and how different textures pop off a page. On top of that, I've been rediscovering my favorite book series, plus finding new ones. It's been a long time since I've had time to lose myself in the plot of a story. Now that I do, I'm taking full advantage of it. Between this and dance, it allows me to stay very active in the confines of my home.